four meter wide rectangular channel carries a discharge of 18 meter cube per second at a depth of 2.5 meters. If the constricted width at a certain section is 3 meters, what will be the change in the water surface elevation? Now there is a rectangular channel which is 4 meters wide and at the downstream end the width is 3 meters. Now let us find the change in the water surface elevation due to this constriction. As bed elevations at both the sections remain same, there will be no change in the value of specific energy at both the sections. Okay. Now let us find let us find out the change in the water surface elevation. Now width of the channel at upstream section. Okay, width of the channel at the upstream section is 4 meters. Constricted width is 3 meters. Depth at the upstream section is 2.5 meters. Discharge conveyed in the channel is 18 meter cube per second. Velocity, fraud number and specific energy have been calculated using these equations. Velocity at the upstream section is 1.8 meters per second and the fraud number is 0 0.363. Since the fraud number is less than 1, the flow is subcritical and therefore there will be a drop in the elevation. Now specific energy at upstream section was calculated using this equation. E is equal to y which is 2.5 plus v square which is 1.8 square divided by 2 into acceleration due to gravity which is 9.81 meters per second square. Now let b to m be the minimum width that does not cause choking. At this width, critical conditions will prevail. Okay. The constricted width in the problem is 3 meters. If this width is found to be greater than B2M, then there will be no change in the upstream depth. But if the constricted width of 3 meters is found to be less than B2M which is the minimum width that does not cause choking then there will be a change in the upstream depth and so there will be a change in the value of specific energy also. Okay, So let us find out B2M. Now specific energy at constricted section EC will be same as E1. Okay, EC is equal to E1 because the bed elevations are not changing. So EC is equal to E1. Okay, and depth at the constricted section is equal to critical depth, which is equal to 2 by 3 multiplied by 2.665. Okay, at B2M width, the flow will be critical. Okay, so we can use the critical depth equation for rectangular channel. Okay, so the critical depth is 1.777 meters. The minimum width, okay, which does not cause choking, uh, was obtained using this equation. This equation was derived from the equation of critical depth for rectangular channel. Yc is equal to q square divided by g into b square b is the width raised to 1 by 3. Okay. If you bring b on the left hand side we will get this equation. So the minimum width is 2.427. Okay. And the width given in the problem is 3. Now, since the constricted width is greater than the minimum width, there will be no choking. Okay, choking conditions will not prevail because the constricted width is greater than the 
minimum width. Okay, uh, and so there will be no change in the upstream depth. Okay, now we will find the value of y2. I repeat, as this constricted width is greater than the minimum width that does not cause choking, okay, as b2 is greater than b2m, there will be no change in the upstream depth. Okay. If the constricted width was, uh, let us say, 2 meters, then there would have been some change in the upstream depth and choking conditions would have prevailed. But in this case, choking conditions do not prevail and so the upstream depth also does not change. Now let us find out the downstream depth y2. We will be using solver to find the downstream depth y2. Now discharge per unit width at upstream section is q by b. q is 18 meter cube per second and b is the width. Uh, width is 4 meters. So 18 by 4 we get the value of discharge per unit width. 4.5 meter cube per second per meter and discharge per unit width at constricted section is equal to 6 meter cube per second per meter. Okay, So as the width reduces of course the discharge per unit width will increase. Now specific energy at constricted section E2 is equal to E1. Okay, I already mentioned that before. <clears throat> now we will use this specific energy equation to find the value of y. And for that we will use solver. So the value of this cell should be equal to 2.665 by changing the value of y2 depth at constricted section. So, y2 is equal to 2.326 meters. Okay, y1 at the upstream section is 3, uh, 3 meters and y2 at the constricted section is 2.326 meters and the change in elevation is 0 0.174 meters. So, if the constriction is 3 meters wide, then the change in elevation is 0.174 meters. Y1 was already given, it was 4 meters. Okay, and Y2 in the constricted section is 2.326 meters. Now, what would happen if the constricted width was 2 meters instead of 3 meters? If the constricted width was 2 meters, then choking conditions will prevail and the upstream depth will change. Okay, let us see. Yes. Is the constricted width less than the minimum width that does not cause choking? Yes, it is less than B2M and therefore choking conditions will exist and there will be a change in the value of upstream depth. If choking conditions exist, use solution 2. Okay. Now discharge per unit width at upstream section is 4.5 meter cube per second per meter and discharge per unit width at constricted section is 9 meter cube per second per meter. Okay, they were obtained using this equation. Q is 18 and B is 4 meters at upstream section and 2 meters at the constricted section. Now. Critical depth at the constricted section can be obtained using this equation for the rectangular channel.
ओके वाई सी इज इक्वल टू क्यू स्क्वेर बाई जी रेस टू वन बाय थ्री ओके क्यू वी हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेटेड जी इज द एक्सेलरेशन ड्यू टू ग्रेविटी सो फॉर अ रेक्टेंगुलर चैनल Uh, we can obtain critical depth using this equation and in this case critical depth is 2.021 meters and specific energy at critical depth can also be easily obtained using this equation ec is equal to 1.5 into 2.021 okay so specific energy at critical depth is 3.032 and even dash the new specific energy at this section will be the same as the specific energy at section 2 or at the constricted section okay even dash is equal to ec2 therefore even is also equal to 3.032 meters now we have obtained the value of specific energy we will use this equation of specific energy to obtain the new upstream depth y1 dash and we will obtain y1 dash using solver okay now set objective 3 3.032 in variable cell y1 dash okay so the new upstream depth is 2.910 meters and the depth at the constricted section is 2.021 meters as calculated before okay so if the constricted width is 2 meters then choking conditions will prevail the depth at the upstream section increases okay y1 will be equal to 2.910 meters and y2 will be 2.021 meters similarly we can obtain the value of uh, y2 and y1 for different widths okay so if the constricted width was 3.5 meters there would be no change in the upstream depth if the constricted width was 3 meters uh also there will be no change in the upstream depth the downstream depth uh, will reduce okay if the constricted width was 2 meters then the upstream depth will change due to choking conditions okay upstream depth will increase to make the flow possible Okay, so if the constricted width is two meters, the upstream depth changes from two point five to two point nine one meters. And the downstream depth, as we just calculated using solver, is two point zero two one meters. Okay, if the constricted width uh, is one point five meters, then also uh, choking conditions will exist and depth at the upstream section will change. to make the flow possible and depth at uh, the constricted section can be obtained using solver so these are the values of the upstream and depth at the constricted section